Gamers, moviegoers, and random person who accidentally clicked on this video, it is Monday, which sucks. To make the load a bit more bearable, let me tell you about all the cool games and movies coming out this week, so you have something to look forward to. Daylight is an odd survival horror game that puts you in the role of a female who has no idea what she's doing in this abandoned hospital. It is haunted by monsters or phantoms or whatever unkillable beast this game is decided on. The whole game is said to be a 30 minute playthrough, however multiple playthroughs are required to get the full story. If I wasn't such a wuss, I'd totally play this game. Unfortunately, I'm easily frightened and will not hesitate to run screaming. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is getting a game release on essentially every console known to man. I hear the Atari 2600 port is going to be sweet. In all seriousness, this game looks okay and if they can get the web slinging right, traveling their open world will be a total blast. If they don't, and the game ends up being mediocre, nobody will really be that surprised. It's a movie tie-in game, for goodness sakes. Also, the Xbox One version has been put on a hold indefinitely, which is really weird and raises some questions that will probably never have answers. Kirby Triple Deluxe is the latest Kirby game coming to the 3DS. It looks like a pretty good time. If you're into playing a maniacal pink ball that consumes enemies to harness their power and use against their friends, you should play this game. Also, you may want to hit up that psych ward. But seriously, the Kirby franchise has been a pretty good one, and these games tend to be pretty enjoyable experiences. So movies are a thing, apparently. This week looks pretty good, and by that I mean there's one huge blockbuster coming out, and some other piece of cinema that will probably be overshadowed by previously mentioned large blockbuster. The large blockbuster in question is The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which has got a star-studded cast and is a movie about everyone's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. With this movie comes a bunch of new villains for Spidey to fight, like Electro, aka Blue Jamie Foxx, as well as Spider-Man's old friend Harry Osborn. You're probably going to end up watching this movie, I mean, someone's going to drag you to the theater, or you just like Spider-Man, or you're male and you just like watching Emma Stone in any piece of cinema. Take your pick, it's going to happen. The movie you probably won't be watching this week is a documentary called Farmland, where, you guessed it, they take a look at the lives of farmers and ranchers. Riveting. I mean, I see what they're going to do, they're going to show you the lives of a few farming families, the trials they face, and sooner or later you'll be rooting for them at the end to succeed. It's a documentary. That's their game plan. There's a few problems here. A. It's not Spider-Man 2. B. No one cares about farms, like not even a little bit. And C. This movie does not feature Emma Stone. Sorry Farmland, but if I want to watch someone farm for a few hours, I'd watch my aunt waste a ton of money playing Farmville. That's kind of it for this week. There is a movie you'll end up watching and some pretty solid games coming out. If you'll excuse me, I just got Dark Souls 2 on the PC and I've got to go hate myself. Kevin, signing out. Hey you! Yeah you! Make sure to check out the Gamer Expo and Aloha concert at the Blaisdell Center on August 15th to the 16th. Please, check it out. No really, check it out. My, my job depends on it, please.